Bruce Springsteen inducted you into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's, I think he really summed it up beautifully and perfect and something that your legions of fans would agree with. He said you are the keepers of some of the most beautiful sonic architecture in rock and roll world. And that is a powerful statement right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Bono, Edge, Adam Clayton, and Larry Mullen Jr. And many of them are already singing the lyrics to your songs already. But there's a time in Ireland where there's truly no line on the horizon. Well, I, the title of the um, the title of the album comes from that moment. I think it can happen everywhere, really. But but it's certainly out in Kalani Bay, where Edge and myself live. There's that moment when the sea and the sky mm. becomes the same color, and you just disappear into infinity. And it seems like a a great image for the future, you know. No end in sight, as I suppose. Uh, can we do this with, the, with microphones? Can we do it? With these guys? Can we do it with microphones? Yeah, yeah. Probably too late. Let's get us a microphone. It's a good idea. You know what? This is the beauty of you two. This is the beauty of you. He is about, all of you are about the people. You're about the people that have been out here all day long, making to make sure that they hear you too. So, so we'll share. That's we'll where share. we came from. 17, 18 years old. We started our band in a high school, even before we got to college. And so I hope we haven't forgotten that this is exactly where we come from. And uh, so you want to pay respect for the great life we've been given, really. Two years, two years, no line on the horizon. You started in, in Morocco. You guys can't do anything easy, can you, Edge? You know, when you're, when you're trying to get to a place that you've never got to musically, it does sometimes go on a, take you on a strange journey. And we ended up recording in Morocco. We ended up recording in New York City. We ended up recording in London. And, you know, we follow where, wherever the inspiration leads us, we have to go. It's, so here we are, yes. <laughs> It's great to be here in the Bronx. It's great to be here in the Bronx amongst our peers. We may, may not be the exact same age as everyone out there, but we're in the same age group, I think we can say. <laughs> yes, man. Well, I think what also is the attraction, I was talking to you all about this a little bit earlier. They have remembered, you remain together all these years. You know, rock and roll bands, they break up and they have reunions and all that. You all have stayed together. You have stayed close friends, and people know the authentic authenticity of your work. So, Adam, but you said it's, um, you've had some, you've had some arguments over the years. It could Did all you? change this morning. <laughs> this morning might be where it all, all goes wrong. I think, I think we've been arguing for about 30 years, but it kind of, we, we got to learn our instruments somewhere along the way. Who gets the last word in the argument? Who gets the last word in the arguments? Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. But... Your music in this time, it's very turbulent times right now. And all through the course of life, we've had moments like this. And music, I know, has, has resonated with you all and gotten us all through very difficult times. And it's all about hope, and that's what your music... When you came out here, it's all about positive energy and hope. That's what you want to project? Yeah, but you, you've got to be real at the same time. And, and you know, it's not... You know, we're more from the blues in that sense that, yeah. you know, gospel music is great, but the music that we like has got an honesty and a grit. And you, rock and roll is a mixture of the blues as well as the gospel highness. So. That's so true. Larry. The strong silent type at the end. Well, I just, I'm so excited to be here, but... I'm just, I'm so pleased for my dad because he's gonna see this sometime soon and he's gonna say, my son Larry finally made it to college. <laughs> so I wanna thank Good Morning America and you guys for making it real for Lawrence Mullen Sr. <laughs> I think you all are, have an honorary degree.
from Fordham. Guys, thank you so much.